So the counter will be able to count from zero all the way up to 500, okay? So during this, at this point in time, our counter counts to 500, okay? And remember, our, our, our counter is a binary counter, so it is able to count to 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. That is the highest that it is able to count to in this amount of time from this voltage. Now, imagine if we were instead going from three volts down to zero. We're not gonna count all the way to 500. We're probably gonna count to like, we're gonna count to 300. All right, so when we're going from three volts down to zero, our counter only has time to count to 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So this number is smaller than this number. So what we're doing is we are counting over time to the highest number that it can before the next snapshot. And remember, snapshot is actually sample. So this right here is our uh, sample period. This is our sample period. So in this sample period, our counter counted up to this number. And then in this sample period, our counter counted up to this number, which is smaller than this number. So this voltage up here for the five volts is larger than this voltage. So our counter was able to count to a higher number for this voltage than it was for this voltage. And then the same will be said for one volt. It won't be able to count as high as the three volt count because it's just starting from a smaller point. So by, by taking this number, and counting f during the time that the capacitor is discharging, we are now able to represent the audio, which was a voltage, by a binary number. And that binary number is going to be stored in these 10 RAMs.